Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cyberspace Virtual Reality. We're excited to have you. We got another review of a couple headsets coming your way, but first, before we jump right into it, please consider subscribing, helping out the channel a little bit. We would also very much appreciate it. Indeed we would. Anyway, today we're talking about the Quest 2 versus the PlayStation VR. This is the first generation PlayStation VR. We haven't heard any news about the PlayStation VR 2 or if it's even coming to the PS5. So we will keep you updated on that. But for right now, this is for if you have a PS4 and you're looking into getting into VR. Is the PlayStation VR worth it or the Quest 2? And I know what you're thinking, Landon, Sean, that PlayStation VR headset is three years old. It, you can't compare a brand new headset with a three-year-old headset. And, and here's what we're gonna say to you. You can, because here's what's happening. People are like, hey, we wanna buy VR and we have a PlayStation. Should we go with the PSVR that's out right now that's been out for a while or should we get the Quest? That's the situation that a lot of people are gonna be in and that's why we're comparing them. And sure, there's gonna be a lot of differences and a lot of things are gonna lean towards the, Ocul the Oculus Quest too because it's newer. And that's important because we want the viewer to know what headset is the best for them in their circumstance. Right now, we only have a first-gen PSVR headset to compare it to, so it's going to be a little bit one-sided, and that's why, because we're trying to help the viewer decide what headset to buy, so that's right. why it's going to be a little bit one-sided. Exactly. Um, the Oculus Quest 2 fills a really awesome and amazing niche uh, for VR users. For example, it's it's really mobile, it's really cheap, um, and it works well. I've been, we've been using it ever since launch, pretty much. I pre-ordered it, and uh, I love the thing. I think it's a great headset. I'm really happy that we have it. Um, the PlayStation VR has been an interesting interesting thing for people that own that headset too when they bought that headset it was almost like an introduction to vr they were playing uh games like skyrim on it and uh beat saber obviously was on there and so they were kind of playing these like basic games some were ports and it was kind of awkward but still an amazing experience for those who had never played vr before and if you haven't played vr um it'll still be amazing to you yeah exactly and that's that's one thing that we want to make sure the viewer understands is both headsets are good headsets. We're not gonna say one or the other is just trash or bad or right. not worth getting ever. It really depends on your circumstance. Um, but we're really gonna lean more towards the Oculus Quest 2 on this one and we're gonna jump right into that and why. Right. So I guess we can start off going spec by spec. Does that work for you? Yeah, let's do specs. All right, so to start off, I think one of the most important uh, things to talk about when you're talking about specs is of course uh, the screen resolution. So the um, PSVR, has a resolution totally for both eyes of 1920 by 1080. So that's only 960 by 1080 per eye. So that's that's pretty low on the on the spectrum for VR headsets. Kind of disappointing. That's pretty that's actually up and down more so you, you don't have as much of a field of view. It's like a tall vision. Um, whereas the Oculus Quest 2 is 1832 by 1920 per eye. So that is like more than double. Um, uh, not not quite double, but almost double um, the resolution of the of the PSVR. So that's like, that's a big deal. And that's one thing that I've heard uh, even years ago when the PSVR came out is a lot of people complained, oh, yeah, I see a lot of pixels. It's, it's not that, gr like the resolution is not that great. And, and in fact, a lot of people w would complain about feeling really motion sick in the PSVR headset more than in any other headset yep. that I've ever heard. Yep. So I don't know if that necessarily ties in with resolution, but it I, does. Think, I think it does, right? Yep. So keep that in mind. If you get motion sick really easy, the PSVR might just wreck you. Yeah. The Quest 2 is much better for that. I've heard the PlayStation VR has ruined virtual reality experiences for a lot of people. They ordered this headset. They were so excited to put it on. They put it on, they play it, and they're like, this kills me. I can't play this. And so then they, they just turn away from VR forever. Yeah. And uh, I think that's a big, big problem. That's super sad. That is actually very sad. Yep. Uh, and it's, it's just gotten better. You know, right. VR headset manufacturers are really trying to help with that and make it make the experience better, make it so it doesn't make you sick. The Quest 2 is much better in that way from personal experience. I don't get sick very often from headsets, but I know from the people that I have watched and had play the Quest 2, they, they have had a really good experience. Right. On. I love the Quest 2. I... It does have some stuttering every once in a while, depending on what game you're playing. It can't handle really high graphic intensive games because it's an all-in-one headset. And so if that sometimes can get to me, but for the most part, it's pretty flawless. Yeah. Um, I, I'm a big fan of the Quest 2 for that reason. Um, so next thing we can get into is refresh rate. So refresh, refresh rate's a bit of a weird one for me because a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, 
if the PlayStation VR has a supposedly uh, 120 hertz refresh rate if you have the, the highest end model. Well, let's be clear, your headset isn't going to be at 120 frames per second every time you use it, only in very, very low graphic intensive games. Mm. Um, this is, the limiting factor usually isn't the display, it's your processing power. So can the PlayStation really do that? That's up to you. Um, it depends on the game, right? Like some games, you're gonna get that high refresh rate. Other games, probably not. And and so, yes, the PlayStation VR does claim to have 120 hertz refresh rate. So we'll give that point to them, right? PlayStation VR may have, may be doing better in that category. Whereas the Quest 2 is only at 90 hertz um, maximum. And that's still kind of in the beta testing stage. You have to go enable it in your settings. Um, but I didn't even like, I, I'm a VR enthusiast. I love playing VR, but I didn't even, like notice when I boosted it up because I'm guessing either the Quest 2 um, just can't handle that high level of refresh rate or um, it's just negligible, right? I think it was at 72 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it started before. off at 72 and then they upgraded it to yep. you can put that mode on. Yep. Uh, so when it does get to 90, 90 uh, hertz or the refresh rate or whatever, it, it, that's industry standard. Most headsets are going to be at that 90 mark. Yep. So the fact that the PSVR claims and apparently is 120, that's really good. The only other one that, that beats that would be the Valve Index. So kudos there. Yep. If you're if the PS4 can really on paper run it, great. That's that's good. awesome. Yeah. But uh, one thing that I'd like to talk a little bit about is comfortability, because one issue that I've had with the Quest, the more that I've played on it, the Quest Two, uh, is the comfort. Without that head strap, it kills my head. I don't get headaches. I'm not. I I'm very fortunate to be a person that doesn't get headaches. Yep. But I get a headache when I play that because. The weight is all in the front on the Quest 2, and it's tight on your head, and you always leave with that kind of raccoon look. Yep. Oh, it's it's it hurts. It's terrible. Pretty bad. It's it's really bad actually. Yep. And I just called one of my buddies the other day, Stephen. Shout out to you, man. And I was asking him about the Elite strap that he has. Kind of gives it that halo. He got one of the off-brand versions that was cheaper, and he says, "Ever since I've had it, hasn't hurt me at all. It's been yep. fantastic." So that's good news for the Quest 2. By right. itself, it can really hurt your head, give you a headache, because it's just not comfortable. Absolutely. Easy solution, you just have to pay some more money, right? You gotta get, you gotta upgrade. So that's kind exactly. of a downside. How is the PS VR in terms it's, of comfortability? It's a halo band. I've, I've personally worn the PlayStation VR headset. It's comfortable. Um, it's the halo strap that we've come, I've come to know and love. I know some people are like, oh, I don't really like it. I need the headset to be pushed into my face. I love the Halo strap. I think it is the best solution for VR enthusiasts. It's so comfortable. I can wear that thing for hours. Um, the Rift S, for example, has a Halo band. That was the first one that I really like. put a lot of work into. Yeah, that and one's I, awesome. I can promise you that at least I prefer the Halo, the Halo strap to anything else. Um, everything else just kind of falls short. Yeah, so... so. They can both be on the same level, PSVR and Quest 2, but you have to upgrade, spend some more money on the Quest 2 to get it to right. that, that same level of comfortability. So, right. So, what else? What else should we talk about? How can what else can we help the um, viewer? I would like to point out something that's interesting with the PSVR. So, let's say you buy, you have a PlayStation 4, or maybe you don't have a PlayStation 4, right? Uh, and you're looking to get a Quest 2. The PlayStation 5 just came out. Maybe people are, people are looking to dump their old console. Maybe it's the perfect time to get into it. And maybe you were looking to play some of the PlayStation exclusives not even associated with VR, right? Like Spider-Man. Um, what was the other one that was super big? The, uh, oh gosh, I can't even remember. There's a whole bunch of games on there, and I'm sure we can talk about it later. But really, PlayStation VR, or PlayStation has a lot of exclusives that a lot of people are looking to play, including myself, but I just won't do it because I don't need a console. But let's say you wanted to get into VR, you found a used one for cheap, they're selling their, their uh, PSVR headset with it, and it's just kind of a tack-on item, right? You're looking at maybe $300 for a PlayStation and a headset and maybe a couple controllers. That might be just the thing you need to be like, well, That would be a sweet deal. Maybe I would take I'm, that deal. Yeah, maybe I just want to get into VR. Why not? You know, it's not a big deal. Or you could spend that $300 on a Quest, but then you're limited to only playing VR games in your Quest 2. That's the issue here. So if you're a parent watching or maybe you're a kid watching and you want to get the Quest or you want to get the PSVR, right. one thing to keep in mind is to for, for the PSVR, you have to have a PlayStation, right? Yep. There's no choice. For the Quest, to get the maximum capability out of the Quest and, and play more games than just what's in you know the generic store is you have to have a PC. You have to have that link cable to be able to connect it to Steam. 
So there is definitely an issue there with that. If you don't have a PC, like the Quest 2 is going to be great by itself. There's a lot of like Vader Immortal, those games, yep. that series is fantastic. Beat Saber, Super Hot, those are all on the Quest Store. They're fantastic games. Yep. But if you ever want to expand, go into more games, other things, or hook it up to your PC so you can get the most out of your Quest 2, if you right. don't have a PC, you can't do that. Exactly. So keep that in mind. If you already have a PS, P, uh, if you already have a PlayStation, tacking on the VR headset onto it is super easy, right? Right. So, so I guess like, really to kind of, I, I don't know if we need to wrap things up necessarily, but like what we're saying so far is that this, both of these headsets are very situational, right? Like, if you find a great deal on a PlayStation with a PSVR headset or you already have a PlayStation, then maybe the PlayStation VR is exactly what you need to just dip your toe into VR and see if you want to invest the another $2,000 to get a really awesome setup. Or maybe that's just, you just need to save as much money as possible and you want to play Beat Saber. You know, like whatever your that is, maybe that fits. For me, if, if it were me and I was sitting down at a table and I had a PlayStation VR and a, an Oculus Quest 2, really the determining factor like i said is it is does it come with that playstation right like do you already have a gaming console do you already play video games outside of the playstation you're looking to get into that i don't know yeah um Here, here's what it comes down to on paper on paper the quest 2 is going to be the better headset hands down right no, no questions asked right on paper uh to get to make the quest 2 really really enjoyable it's 300 bucks but you're going to want to spend money on probably the halo strap you'll You'll find that out for yourself once you feel it. Uh, you might want to spend, if you have a PC, you'll, you'll want to spend extra money on the link cable so that you can play games through your PC on it when you want to. Um, but on paper as well, if you have a PlayStation and you're, you don't have a PC and you don't want to invest a ton of money, probably just go for the PSVR if you're not super into VR. It's yep. just going to be an every once in a while kind of thing. That's yeah. it. But if you want to commit to VR, you need to do what you can to go with the Quest or another headset like the HP Reverb or something. Exactly. For sure. I think it's just, it makes a little bit more sense. If you have a PlayStation, grab a PSVR, play it, you're good to go. Um, you can probably find one used. Someone probably bought it and was like, maybe they got motion sick and they're like, I can't use this. Um, and they're trying to sell it. Uh, you might be able to find one on eBay or something like that. So I would take a look at that for sure. Now might be the, the perfect time to hop on that. True. Um, but if it were me, I love my Quest 2. And if you're looking just for a VR experience, Quest 2. It's going to be better. Yeah. yeah. VR experience way better absolutely hands down in every way it's just better it's just a, a headset that's basically three years newer so yep. that's just how it's going to be once psvr 2 comes out trust me we will do a review and we will say how it's kicking butt in all the areas because it's going to be the newest headset out there but right now that's what you should go for between these two headsets absolutely so, thanks for joining us today on the cyberspace vr channel we will see you next time